Enoch Ling asks, um, how do changes to, um, to the way net neutrality is being handled affect uh, MVNOs like Ting? Since, our, since data is effectively going through our partner networks, do they have access to, uh, to the usage location and all that kind of stuff? So there's two things. One is that our uh, partner networks um, uh, do not have particular subscriber data. When a subscriber of ours uh, connects to one of our partner's towers, the tower knows this is a Ting customer, and if it's okay with Ting, it's okay with us. So they don't see data at that subscriber level. Uh, they report back to us uh, a, a phone number, which is identified in connection with the phone, you know, so it's a device and a phone number, and then all of the, the details of amount of usage. Um, I should note that even though they don't have those individual details, in terms, particularly in terms of data, they don't have particular data usage other than DNS data anyway. So, um, you know, I think that uh, in terms of the mobile business, uh, the, the, the one potential impact of net neutrality, which is one that I'm not worried about, is that uh, the big four become more aggressive in what they zero rate or in what content they provide for free. I have yet to meet somebody who has chosen their mobile phone supplier on the basis of content that was included or excluded. So I don't really think that matters much for the business. Um, I, I haven't really been able to understand why the incumbents love that so much, but they seem to.